Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to send all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, Barak, Atham. This is your brother, um, Yahweh Shai, believer. And um, today I want to come at you with another lesson. Uh, the title of this lesson is going to be the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. Now, I have a lot of uh, pre-sales scriptures um, that I can get into, but I kind of want to break it down. So this is going to be a part one of the day of the Lord. And I just kind of want to break it down. Okay. Uh, first, we're going to go into Amos. Uh, Amos 5 and starting at verse um, starting at verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord. The day. Let me see. The day of the Lord is darkness, not light, and not light. Verse 19. As if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into a house, and, a, and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Verse 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness, and not light, and very dark, and no brightness in it? Okay, all right. Now the day of the Lord, man, as you can see, is not a good day, and people think, especially Christians, um, well, mainly Christians, um, believe that you know there's going to be like a rapture and the sky is just going to open up and angels with you know so-called white skin are going to come down and make everything glorious and you're going to see babies and you know with pampers on. <laughs> you know, with wings, and you know, they think this they have this image of they in their head of so called Jesus coming down with his hand stretched out on the cloud, dressed in white, with a feminine face, hair flowing. No, it's not gonna be like that, man. Okay, as you can clearly see in the scriptures in the book of Amos 5. It says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So it's not a day of light. Okay, it's a day of darkness. It's going to be a, the day of truth. Is, to be honest, well, just to be straight up, it's not going to be a good day. Okay, you're going to have righteous men, um, you know, who, who, who Lord willing, not, might be alive during that day. You know, um, being scared also. Okay? It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? I really ain't got to break that down. I mean, woe unto you, uh, wacky tacky Christians. Woe unto you, um, people who don't believe in the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? Woe unto you. Woe unto you, TD Jakes listeners and Joe Osteen listeners. Jesse Duplantis listeners, Oprah Winfrey listeners, especially Kanye listeners, um, um, you know, okay? And then when you go into verse 19, it says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So basically this verse is saying you can't escape, escape the judgment of the Lord. You can't escape it. Okay, I know uh, some people say what well, like when when that when that day pops off or when, whenever um, I can leave the country. Well, wherever you go, the day of the Lord is he's 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 gonna judge this whole this whole planet. All right, so it don't matter where you at. I mean, you got these elites having bunkers and stuff like that. They can they can they can escape. Nah, you can't escape it. Okay, it says as if a man did flee from a lion. So if you run from one situation. You know, and you run, and it says, and they bear met him. So if you flee from whatever you're fleeing from during that day of the Lord, and then you may thinking, okay, I escaped it, I'm good. But when you get to that resting spot or wherever you trying to hide in that area, something else is going to get you. Okay, verse 19 it says, as if a man did flee from a lion, meaning you try to get away, you flee from something, you try to get away. You know, and a bear met him. You just run yourself. You just basically ran yourself into another situation. 
another messed up situation. So during the day of the Lord, man, nobody's going to be going to be able to escape. Okay, I went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall. So you you when you fleeing from something and you hide from something, you tired. You like okay, I made it. You leaned your hand on the wall, and the serpent bit him. And you thinking you safe and bam, something else got you. So there's no escape, man. There's no escape from the judgment of the Most High. Now, the only way you can get out of this is hearkening to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Okay? But that's, you know, that's another lesson. Uh, but basically, this lesson here is basically saying, um, you know, the day of the Lord is not a day of light. It's not going to be glorious. It's, it's not going to be... You know, after everything takes place and, and the Most High burns this planet, does what he has to do to get rid of the two-thirds and get rid of the, uh, um, the unrighteous people of this planet, then would it, then everything will start looking good. Okay, uh, let's go to verse 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Okay. So the day of the Lord is a day of darkness, man. Some people, you know, <laughs> and I usually, I usually think this too. The rapture is going to come. The sky is going to open up. There's going to be this bright light. I'm going to see the other dimension. Nah, it's not like that. No, you're going to see laser beams and you're going to see nukes being dropped on this planet. Okay? Those are lights you're going to see. <laughs> but during that time, that's going to be a dark time for some people, man. You know? That's definitely going to be a dark time for some people because some people are going to want to die and they can't die. You know, and, you know, those nukes going to drop, but you're going to be burned. You're going to feel it. Most of going to keep that spirit in you so you can feel it, you know. So, oh, it's like, yeah. But, yeah, man, um, hey, the day of the Lord, man, is not a day to, uh, to play with, okay? It's not a day to play with. It says, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? No, it's not going to be a day of light. Okay, everybody can't get saved. Okay, you only have a certain group of men who are going to be saved. That's the 144,000 and also uh, some of the elect that's going to be saved with uh, uh, the 144,000. Okay, but for for the two thirds out there, man, and, you know, especially you Edomites <laughs> and, and a lot of you heathens, man, hey. You better, no, you done, you done. You can't even do anything. If the Most High has it, has it out for you, He has it out for you. You know, definitely has it out for you. But uh, let's go back to the top again and review. Okay. Oh, man, come on. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Okay. Now, let's go into that word woe. What does that word woe mean? Okay. Strong's H, 1945. Hoy. Hoy. Okay. Um. Whoa. Ho. Was it uh, a loss? Okay, let's go. Let me see. Um, of threatening. Um. Okay, I thought it was a better definition. But, uh. Let me see here. Okay. Actually, let me go in my um. Let me go into a dictionary. Okay, let's go into my dictionary here. I won't see what that word "roll" means. I think it means destruction. So, lock you from not knowing off the bat. But we're gonna find out right now. I think it means destruction, if I'm not mistaken. And so lock you for not knowing what that means on the top of my head. I, can, I thought I knew, but uh, let's see, W, X, Y, Z. W, okay, W, O, E. Okay, whoa. Used to ex express grief, regret, distress, okay? Um... A condition of deep suffering, of misfortune, grief. Okay, so woe unto you, man. Woe unto you, grief to you that seek the day of the Lord. You know, 
what unto you that is that oh Salakia, what unto you that desire the day of the Lord? Okay, now let's go into that word desire. Okay, let's just go into it right quick. What does that word desire mean? Okay. Strong's H one eighty three. Ava. Okay, to incline, wait, lonely, wish, want, prefer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's amazing where you go through words, you know, the meaning of words. You think you know, but, you know, looking up words is is a help, you know, in, in this truth. You know, but woe unto you that want the day of the Lord, man. You know, you don't you don't want the day of the Lord. And if you don't want these things to happen to you, if you don't want to see the darkness and the gloominess, hey, right now, start honoring the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, start calling um, uh, Yahweh Shai Jesus. Stop calling y Yahweh whom the world enemy calls God. You know, stop, you know, start calling Yahweh God. You know, hearken to the law, statutes, and commandments, man. You know, okay. But uh, this is uh, your brother. Yahweh Shai believer, and I uh, just want to give you a quick lesson on the day of the Lord, okay? And uh, Lord willing, I'll make a part two about the day of the Lord, okay? Till next time, Shalom.